Isagi is getting along pretty well in Bastard Munchen. But what would happen if he went to a different team within the Blue Lock facility? Let's find out what could have happened if Isagi joined Ubers. First, we have to get to know Ubers a bit better before we speculate much further. In Chapter 153, when Ego Jinpachi announced the Neo Egoist League, he explained that Ubers is a team from Italy, which means that it's the league that favors slyness and tactics. This is already a strength that Isagi has, as it was pretty apparent that Isagi had a very good awareness of what the players around him were doing, as he he even awakened MetaVision in the third selection. They hold history in being able to win 1-0 while holding their defense. Isagi would only really care about scoring goals since he's a striker, as Baru is doing the same thing for the team. This is a playstyle that fuses individual strength with a strong team organization. Now let's dive deeper into the way Mark Snuffy likes to play. In Chapter 214, the first thing he asked the egoists is what football means to them. The reason he asked this first is because his best friend took his life away. After all, he wasn't the football prodigy anymore. After this, Snuffy asks them what they would do if they can't turn into a professional. What would they have left if football was taken away from them? He wants to make it very clear to the egoists that they need a backup plan if something were to go wrong and make them aware of their own shortcomings before they hit them. He told them that there's nothing wrong in devoting yourself to football because you love it, but injuries and setbacks do happen. So he asked them what they would be doing if one day, for some reason or another, they were no longer able to play football. Those who can't answer this question will forever be dreamers and amateurs. For a professional, winning is a duty and an obligation. Through winning, they are able to earn money and put food on the table, which is true. And this actually has a lot of similarities to Noel Noah's rationality. If you combine awareness with work ethic, you could become very lethal on the field. Snuffy wants the egoists to remember that football is a job. He tells them to think of a club like Ubers as a corporation. And based on that, the games are business deals and the players are employees. He has been studying the data of every single one of them. The game plan, offense, defense, and even situational football. All the various strategies are right in front of them. This would be so good for Isagi as he could lean into his strengths even more and become as good or even a better rationalist than he was in Bastard Munchen. He has to stick to a plan though, but he'd got to understand him and his strengths and weaknesses on a more fundamental and direct level, as Noel Noah is more of an indirect teacher, which is not inherently bad, but it gives Isagi less direction. Snuffy told the egoists that if they'd managed to remember all the strategies he comes up with and execute them flawlessly, they'd definitely be able to win. But in the event they lost because of a strategy he didn't anticipate, all the responsibility falls on Snuffy the president as the employees aren't to blame. This would actually be a bit worse for Isagi, since accountability should be a very important thing for any world-class striker. Every master striker has their own flaws, after all. Snuffy tells them to go about this as business-like gentlemen in order to become his strategy's arms and legs. If you're enjoying this video so far, consider subscribing. We go a bit further now as the lineup for their first match against PXG gets confirmed. Snuffy confirms that their lineup will be a 3-5-1-1. Canali is on goal. Lorenzo, Aryu, and Aiku are in the center-back position. Lorenzo has very flexible legs and can maneuver himself through the field pretty easily and swiftly, as he's a next-gen 11 as well. He has his zombie dribbling too, which involves him moving his upper and lower body in a way that they are completely out of sync, making it extremely difficult to read his center of gravity. This technique allows Lorenzo to effortlessly dribble past his opponents, by confusing them with his unconventional movements. Aryu can jump pretty high, so he will be very competent in clearing corner kicks, as well as starting new plays. His long reach is pretty good, as well as this might be his greatest weapon. With his long limbs, Aryu can reach the ball at a distance that his opponent cannot match. He can use this to receive a pass ahead of his opponent by stretching out his leg ahead of him. Aiku is very good at stealing the ball as he's able to read defenders, Aiku has pretty good physicality, which enables him to perform high-level plays without any issues. His strength is also demonstrated in his jumping ability, as he's able to reach great heights to intercept the ball. In addition to this, Aiku moves across the pitch with incredible speed, being able to sweep up any loose balls and cover the defensive holes that are left by his team, as well as retreat to the center when needed. Aiku has an incredibly large field of view, just like Isagi, as he's able to take all the conditions into account of every player in front of him. The wide field of view enables him to detect any threats to the goal and react instantly, predicting any movements of surprise plays. On top of his high spatial awareness, Aiku also has the reflex 
reflex to immediately determine where the greatest threat to the jail is and the physical ability to go there without hesitation. It is the combination of this reflex and spatial awareness that makes Aiku such an effective defender as he not only sees all the positions of every player at once, but also moves immediately to intercept the ball. He's a user of metavision as well, which is a term to describe a player's evolved vision, which gives him a four-dimensional perspective of the field. Players with metavision are using their eyes constantly to collect data on every player along with every play they make and their positions on the field. Nico is a center defensive midfielder together with Drago and Peron. Nico also has pretty high spatial awareness as it was confirmed that he was a lot like Asagi. He also has something called watchtower football as he focuses his vision not on the player who has the ball, but rather on the players around them. Maybe he has inherited this from Mark Snuffy himself, as Nico can act as a watchtower in the defensive line, determining the most dangerous threat to his team's goal and the likely path they will take. On top of that, he is a user of metavision just like Aiku. Abdi will be left mid and Sendao will be right mid. He is much like a shadow striker because his presence is plain. Sanodu's ability to play as a shadow striker can throw off the opposing defense's focus, as while he may not be the main threat, he would always position himself well to create hesitation and uncertainty. On the center attacking midfield spot, we have Isagi Yoichi. He is another user of spatial awareness this team is so broken like this. Another thing is his direct shot, of course, as he first assesses the positions of the defenders and the trajectory of the ball. After that, he lands a powerful kick on the ball's impact point to score a clean goal. In doing this, Isagi avoids having to overthink his positioning as well as his next move and can just score a clean shot with no interference. Isagi has gotten great off-the-ball movements as well as he may use these moments to position himself in his opponent's blind spots and position himself in a place where he can deceive the opposition and be a decoy for his teammates' shots. Or he can position himself close enough to a teammate to pull off super close back-to-back -back passing that can break through an enemy's defense. His reflexes are pretty good as well. Isagi can use his awareness of the conditions of the field to find spaces of opportunity either to attack the opponent's goal or defend his own. And last but not least on the center forward spot, we've got Baru Shue. Baru has great charging skills as he can create the space for his shots by charging through an opponent's defense and into a range for his middle shot. He has multiple attributes and techniques which contribute to his overall charging ability. His middle shot is pretty good too, as Baru's main method of scoring is his powerful and accurate shot from a position near the middle of the goal. Baru can target the top right corner with incredible reliability, being almost guaranteed to score within a specific specific area of the goal, which is 29 meters near the middle. When outside of this specific area, Baru's accuracy can decrease a lot. He also has villainous football as this is a selfish and unpredictable playing style that involves Baru devouring his own teammates for the sake of his own goal. On the field, Baru will look to where he can steal the ball from his teammates to capitalize on their positioning and devour them. He can also take this a step further by observing the way his team evolves their plays and interrupting that process. Process. He's the only user within the Ubers lineup that has something called Predator Eye. Predator Eye is described as a complete opposite of Metavision. Instead of expanding his vision, Baru drastically narrows it down and focuses solely on the goalkeeper and waits patiently for the opponent to drop his guard so that he can score a goal. Watch this video next where I explain the entire match of Bastard Munchen vs. Ubers.